questions? Like what you yeah. already have the agents? Yeah. Or ask the other people. Um, their local stuff, the market, uh, average sale price. But we're live. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, so we're, we're live, so we'll get a couple uh, people on, because we don't care if there's really like a hundred or two, uh, we just want to be able to do this. Um, I don't know if this just, okay, they're showing up. Look, there's two, we got two people. I'm excited for a Friday. Um, oh look, Dave's in. Dave, what's up? Jeff, how are you? Jeff, since you're the first person um, I'm seeing on my camera, uh, I'm gonna bring you into the call. Uh, Alex, good morning. Alma, are you working today? Hi, Alma. Dude, I saw your post about your recent, um, I'm going to say toilet issue, and no one's going to understand what I'm saying, but about the toilet ring, the, the, the 10 inch. So I thought that was crazy. And so I'm glad that you got that solved. Uh, Ryan, what's up? Linda, good morning. Jim, what's up? Ashley, good afternoon. It is uh, like one o'clock your time, I think, right? Um, oh, he didn't get it solved. Ah. Alma, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh my gosh, we'll have to talk about that later. Maybe I can find a good resource for you. Um, and, and so you know, uh, Ashley, the girls have eaten all the saltwater coffee. I think it's all gone, like all of it. Um, hey, anyway, let's get um, our first guest. This is Off the Cuff, right? A new show that we're trying to do. Uh, we're doing it at least once a week. Oh, it's two o'clock, Ashley. Um, so it is uh, a new show that we're starting to do uh, where I talk to people in different areas of the country. Uh, sometimes they'll be in town, like I see Connie is watching in my office, so I might drag Connie in the call later. Um, but the idea here is that people get a chance to hear some funny and interesting things about different cities and states and a little bit about the real estate market. And they all won't always be people in real estate. So I've got some special guests that I'm looking into uh, having this on our calls down the road as we get more traction here. So JP, like, man, I, I wish we could figure out who is reaching us the furthest. Like JP is in Canada, Quebec. If you ever need an agent in Quebec, uh, JP is the man there. Lacey Lawrence, uh, uh, she's here today. So lots of great people, but let's get our first, I'm gonna, Jeff was in here first, so let's get Jeff going. Jeff is in Las Vegas. I'm gonna bring you in camera, Jeff. It says adding, adding, and by the way, added to a call, let me know. Just raise your hand, whether it'll be this episode or a future one, I'll remember that, but you have to be on your mobile phone. So you gotta be on your mobile phone if you wanna be added. Jeff, can you hear me? I can, Jason, how you doing this morning? I am awesome. It is Friday, September 7th, and I am headed to Idaho tomorrow. What's in Idaho? I have no idea. <laughs> I honestly hey. don't, like, I, I don't know. It's, um, it, it, for those of you who may be familiar with Idaho, uh, I, it's the Lake uh, Coeur d'Alene, mm -hmm. Coeur d'Alene in Idaho. Um, and so I heard it's amazing. I can't wait for it. Uh, I'm part of this uh, amazing group um, called the Art Day Syndicate. And it's our first group, uh, group together. Uh, there's about 60 of us that are going. And so, uh, I leave tomorrow. I'll be back, uh, Tuesday night, the September, yeah, se September 11th, Tuesday night. So I'm excited about that. What's going on in your life? That's great. Oh, uh, you know, I uh, just excited to still have hundred plus degree weather here. Uh, I'm, I'm, I've waved the white flag. I'm done people. I want to go to Coeur d'Alene with you, Jason, please. Uh, <laughs> it's uh it, it's hot man but it's uh i think uh i think we have double digit uh, degree you know double digit temperature on the horizon at least but uh it's supposed to be like i think for a second jeff hey oh. cassie go tell Corey to call showing time right now like they're gonna start spamming me jeff you know who just called me during our call during our video hey. thing and for those of you that are agents you'll know this so showing time, you guys do you use showing time, Jeff? Yeah, it's great, great right. service here. So showing time, when our showing instructions for my new listings are, aren't the way they're supposed to be, they'll start spamming me and they're, I don't wanna be spammed during this amazing call, right? Yeah. So um, I just sent Cassie out of the room. She's the one who provides me with fun facts about like the, the places that you and other agents are in. And so, and I've got some doozies when it comes to Las Vegas. <laughs> Right. But the yeah. first thing, the first thing is I think that everybody uh, thinks that Las Vegas is scorching hot, but that it's a dry heat. I don't know, even know what that means. So here, here's what I say. I don't care how dry it is when it's 110, 115. It's still hot. But uh, 
you know, I will say this, uh, it's definitely, I would take that over the humidity for all of our friends that live in the Midwest in, you know, in the South or the East coast, you know, I, you know, more power to you. I, you know, at least with the dry heat, you're not sweating as much as you are, uh, you know, when it's, uh, you know, about 80% humidity, but, uh, you know, well, our, does our, anybody actually hang out outside in Las Vegas? You know, from, I'd say from June to August, the people you see outside are either uh, running to their car or, uh, you know, uh, they, they're playing golf. You know, my, my wife and I have a joke. I'm allowed to play golf as long as it's not over 110 uh, during the summer. Uh, there, was, there was one day that the high was supposed to be 110 on the dot. She, uh, you know, I, I said, hey, you said over 110. She said, go have fun. I, uh, it, it was miserable. Uh, it was, it, it was, it was not this. Tell me you had a plethora of cold beverages to drink. You know, I probably had five pi uh, five liters of water on the course. And uh, for anybody who drinks that much water, know you're going to spend some time in the bathroom. I, I was, it was, it was so hot and I was sweating so much. I, I literally did not have to evacuate any of that water. Dude, the only, you know, that's so funny. The only, the only place I'll play golf in Las Vegas is at Top Golf. Yeah. Right. Look, because it's, it's covered. <laughs> I don't have to deal with all that sun. And then they bring the beers to me. Yeah, you know, absolutely. And, and, you know, whenever you have a club scene, because it's Vegas, right, and it's owned by the MGM, you know, or, or at least in part by the MGM. Look, our top golf here has a freaking, you know, cabana pool set up, right? That's that's yeah. just bizarre, right? So for, uh, those, but... <laughs> so for those of us watching, and I think a lot of our watchers have probably been to Vegas at some point or the other, but man, if you haven't, like, that's a good activity. Like when we've gone recently, since top golf is, is open there, like, what a blast, what a good time. Um, so, uh Check that out. Now, hey, Jeff, I want to get right into some crazy things, right? Because I, you don't, may not know this, but I lived in Vegas for over a year. You know, it's funny. I don't think, you know, in the, in the handful of times we've talked, I don't, I don't think uh, you ever mentioned that. So, no, when, uh, when were you here? Um, this would have been in probably 2008, maybe. Okay. So, okay, right, yeah, when, so right yeah. when the market was really, really hot here. <laughs> well, Maybe it was, oh, maybe it was before, oh, it was before then. What am I talking about? Okay. It would have been um, 98. Okay. Oh, I'm off by 10 hey. years. That's there was an eight in there. That's you what Vegas does to you. <laughs> I was the guy who went to the casino, like I'm by myself, I don't know anybody, and I went to the casino at like, you know, 10 o'clock at night, and then two days later, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm still here, like, and I lost an entire day like sitting at the table, like just exchanging money back and forth. I'm, I was that guy. It was horrible. But hey. There's, I, look, there's no clocks for a reason, right? Yes. I know literally I saw the, 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 the blackjack dealer. You know, I remember him. And then he left, I thought, on a break. He didn't leave for a break. He left for the day. And then he came back. He <laughs> said, you're still here? I said, well, yeah, I'm still here. Like, you went on a break? He said, no, I went home and showered and slept and ate and came back. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and you know, yeah. this is you know, I think I had a cell phone, but it certainly wasn't a smartphone, you know, and it's sitting in my pocket. Um, if anybody's had a day that they don't remember in Las Vegas, give me a heart, a like, 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 and I know some of the girls in the office are like, oh, yeah, like, you know, give me a heart or a like, and I, I can see some of the people on it, like, like John Kerry Jr., like, he's from Fresno, he's he's had some days in Vegas, I'm sure. Um, all right, so fun facts, and tell me if you've ever heard these, Jeff. Because okay. the, fir the first one blows my mind, all right? So everyone wants to hear these. I think this is part of why they, they, they chime in. There's, an, there's estimated to be at least 1,000 people living beneath Vegas and underground tunnels? Yeah, you know, there is, there is a news. So I, I would say true, right? If, if, so not, not, not fiction. Um, we do have, it's a storm drain uh, system, right? We are in a right. desert, so we do have, we do have flash flood issues. So the, the city here does have an underground draining system that really works. Obviously when it's 115 degrees out, um, you know, our, our, our homeless population, like we live in a big city, we do have a, a, a you know, good sized homeless population has to beat the heat somewhere. So they'll, they'll kind of, um, you know, go underground if you will uh and every year it's really sad whenever you hear you know whenever we have a big flash flood there's always worries of, of somebody kind of getting you know swept up in it so um oh. yeah it's i let's put it this way i it's the, you know you've seen they've done some undercover or investigative reporting on it before it's, it's usually it usually makes the news once a year just as a kind of an update um 
but there can be, you know, there can be some casualties when we have those, those quick, huge, uh, you know, uh, flash floods that come in and out of the valley. But yeah, that is I a, had, that I is had, a true fact. I had no idea. So that is really surprising. I've seen the flash floods. The flash floods are crazy. If yep. you've been in Vegas before and you've witnessed a flash flood, there's nothing like that. Um, all right. So there's another uh, fun fact here. The shrimp, <laughs> the shrimp consumption in Las Vegas. How, how many pounds of shrimp do you think on average is consumed in Las Vegas uh, per day? Per day. Okay. Well, so I'm going to do this. Don't be, four... on, don't be getting on Google. I'm not. No, no. We so, want local like, here's my knowledge, guess. buddy. Yeah. So here's my guess. There's about 40 million tourists every year. Okay. That's, that's, that's the number. So 40 million tourists. And we all know everybody hits the buffet. Uh, I, gosh, I don't know. I'd say everybody probably eats a uh, close to a pound. Uh, you know, I, I don't know, 20, 20, 20 tons a day. I, you know, that, that right, so may be way so low. Your, your guess is 20,000 pounds a day. Anybody watching right now? I'll go 40,000. I'll go 20 tons, 40,000. You go 40,000. All right. If any, anybody get any guesses out there right now, and I will buy you a shrimp dinner <laughs> somewhere, like wherever you are, we'll get you a gift certificate. I'll get you here in town. If we're going to see each other at some event in the future, I'm taking you to dinner and we're having shrimp. Um, Dave, no problem. Thanks, Al. Welcome. So any other guesses? All right. Here's the answer. You ready? 60,000 pounds per day. <laughs> Frick, man, 60,000 pounds per day in shrimp consumed in Las Vegas. That is an insane amount. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah. You know, you start thinking about, and, and we're talking about shrimp, not, you know, this is not 60,000 pounds of filet, right? Shrimp, how much, how many ounces does one shrimp weigh? I mean, that's a, that's a lot of shrimp. <laughs> it's a ridiculous amount of shrimp. So, all right, speaking of food right now. I go to Vegas. Now, there's a m amazing restaurants there. So this is probably a very difficult question. But you're a local. You live there. Jeremy Applebaum, 54,000. That was a good guess. I, I might have to hook Jeremy up with some shrimp. Um, Sydney uh, did 39,000. Got some good guesses in there. So, But here's the question for you. If I'm in Vegas for one night, right, and I'm never going to be back for whatever reason, and but I'm going to have one meal, like, where do I go? What's the – where can I get, like – the experience or the meal like what says vegas if i have one meal that's that's a great question and, so and the buffet the, the breakfast buffet at circus doesn't count not count, okay so oh. you know my my absolute favorite spot uh actually just closed at the end of last month it was a uh, it was a place in the uh venetian called carnivino it was one of the mario batali places and with everything that went on in the last couple of months, uh, his restaurants all shuttered. So that was going to be my answer. Um, Batali was, uh, that was, it was a phenomenal, phenomenal. You know, you had a ribeye for two that was 80 ounces or one of those crazy things, right? Um, yeah. We have, you know, um, everybody talks about Michelin star restaurants. They actually don't have a guide here anymore. Uh, I think they, they cut it in 2009 because of the economy and everything. But we all know everybody who's a famous chef has, has restaurants and, and flagship restaurants. So uh, if, if you wanted to go to like a uh, forget about it, you're not going to look at the credit card bill ever because it's going to scare you. Right. Um, you know, you got a couple places that are amazing. There's a place called Picasso uh, that's in the Bellagio, I believe, and it's named that because there are literally Picassos hanging on the wall. Awesome. Um, yeah, there's a, and I, I always butcher his name because it's French. There's a, you know, the the only three star Michelin was uh, Joel Joel Rubichon or Robichon. Um, that's kind of one of those high intensity type places. Um, so if you're doing that, that's that that's where you're going. Yes, yeah, the know. local. Yeah, go ahead. What, what, sells, what says Vegas food-wise, though? I mean, do we say it's, it's shrimp because of the amount of shrimp that's consumed? Like, like Fresno, like, people will say often, like, you know, like, we've got this taco movement. Like, you know, like, we have ridiculously good tacos here. Uh, matter of fact, uh, our baseball team uh, owns the taco emoji. Okay. Fun fact about Fresno. But that's, that um, is but a very fun fact. also are big into tri-tip, right? Like Santa Maria uh -huh. tri-tip. People on the East yep. Coast have no idea what a tri-tip is. Uh, my yeah. mom's visiting friends right now uh, in North Carolina, and she brought with her, and I kid you not, I just couldn't believe she told me she did this, but she brought with her 10 tri-tips in her luggage over to North Carolina so they could be barbecuing some tri-tip. Proud, proud like, of your so mom. What, what, don't, what, don't know what, her, but what, proud of her. <laughs> so what's Vegas? Like, what's the, what's the food for Vegas? Is it, is it 
it's it's you know it's it's not shrimp right it's you know we vegas vegas is one of the only cities that i know that continuously reinvents itself right we've we've gone from the whole what happens to vegas stays in vegas we've had the whole kid family friendly movement i um, remember that yeah, but you know, I think Vegas is really it's kind of reinventing itself again now with with uh you know with the Golden Knights uh and the you know the the absolute success they've had, you know, every day every day I drive up and down to 15 I see the Raider Stadium, you know, being built further and further. We're really trying to establish ourselves not just as the gambling mecca of the United States or the world if you will, but you know, you do have the high class dining, but you also have some amazing local restaurants. Uh, like anything else, right? When you have an epicenter that's so that's so you know uh, famous and well known, you're going to have stuff that comes out. So you you know we have neighborhood restaurants that you know that maybe the strip people have a partnership in a silent partnership that they're in the, they're putting them into the neighborhoods to get great quality food everywhere. We've got you know we've got some mm -hmm. some killer barbecue, believe it or not, all over the place. Um, we obviously we have a, a, a we do have a Chinatown and a, a kind of a Korea town here, so we've got some amazing amazing Asian cuisine here too. Um, I wish our our wish our taco game was a little bit better than it is. Uh, I grew Dude, I grew you up. You know in, how you yeah. can get some free tacos from Fresno? You and I like later we can email each other. We can make a bet and like you know loser will send the, like maybe you can send me some shrimp. I don't know, uh, <laughs> and then I can send you some tacos if I lose, and I can hook you up with some good tacos. There's some folks that I know that live in Vegas that are watching right now. So maybe they'll chime in and tell us uh, some other f fun facts about Vegas. But let's drop some real estate knowledge on people because I think it's important, right? Having lived there for a short period of time. Uh, can you hear me still, Jeff? Yeah, can you hear me? Okay. My, uh, my headphones went, went dead. So can you hear okay. me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you great. So having lived there for a little bit and, and, and visited many times, like I think there's this conception that um, – that you, you live on the strip and, and you don't like, you know, I lived like miles and miles from the strip. I, I forget what the community was called, but it was actually green, yep. you know, like there was palm trees and there was grass and, you know, and there was like regular grocery stores. So just give us a, like a 30, 60 second, like real estate, like what is it like to live in Las Vegas? What's the average price point? Like, yep. you know, is it a seller's market, buyer's market? What's the average how long does a home sit on the market? Like, what can I expect to pay if I wanted to live there and I wanted a house with a pool? Give us some stuff like that. Sounds good. Great, great, great questions. And yeah, you know, I actually don't live on the strip. I don't live in a casino, right? We live in a, uh, a stucco box like a lot of other people. I, I joke, right? So Las Vegas, it's about two and a half million people for the entire valley. Uh, we're, we're, we're a big suburban, you know, desert community uh, in, in city. I like to say we're very similar to Phoenix. We're about half the size of Phoenix. Um, our skyline just looks a little bit different, right? So um, I'm only on the strip when we've got friends or family in town, or we want to go see a show. But you know, we don't live, you know, we don't live on the strip. Uh, there are some great communities out here, uh, a lot of a lot of different areas. Uh, our average price point for a single family home right now is about three hundred fifty thousand. That's the average price point. Me median's about three hundred. So we know what is like three? What is three? What is three fifty get me? Like how many? Uh, does it get me a four bedroom? Does it get me a three bedroom? Does it get me a pool? Do, do, do people in Vegas have pools? Like, yeah. So if you're spending three fifty in the Valley in the market right now, and we, to answer one of the other questions, we're in a, we're definitely in a seller's market still. Um, depending on who you ask, we're either the number one overall market in the country or the number two or three. Um, we're, we've got about 2.3 months of inventory. So, you know, no, you know, which anything less than six months, six months is kind of a neutral, if you will. So, we're, we're pretty strong still as a, as a seller's market. We're seeing a, a, a slight a slight shift. That number's actually come up a little bit. So we're, we're seeing a, a little bit less competition, but for 350 to answer your question, uh, it, you're, yeah. you're, in a, you're in a nice neighborhood. You're probably in a 22, 23, 2500 square foot home, uh, three, four bedroom or so that's probably been updated or, or relatively new. Um, you may have a pool, you may not have a pool. About, about a, yeah, I'd say about one in five homes across the valley do have pools so uh the, you know from if you're if you're looking at a, a satellite view you do see a lot of blue in the backyards um let's see average price like i said average price about 350 and, and, uh, and price points i'm guessing and, and i mean yeah i wasn't in real estate when i lived there briefly but um you know there's like what are we looking at price point like What's like the minimum? Like, are you, can I get something for a hundred grand? And if so, am I scared? 
you know, or, and how about the, the high price point? Like there's certainly, you could get some amazing estates there, yep. uh, multi-million dollar homes, right? Right. So if you're in the hundred grand mark right now, you're probably in a one, you're probably in a one bedroom uh, condo kind of thing. Probably not okay. in one of the most ideal neighborhoods. Um, if you want to spend 30 million, there's a, there's a custom spec home in the ridges right now that's, that's sitting on the market for 30 million that has basically a, a 180 view of the entire valley. It's, it's nestled in the hills west of, uh, west of, uh, west of the Strip. Um, so I, very few places I've seen such a huge, huge variance. You know, in, in Vegas is weird. You can live in a master planned community and you could be in a $350,000 neighborhood and right across the street from you could be a guard gated neighborhood with the average price of about a million, million and a half, literally wow. across the street. So, um, and where is the growth going right now in Vegas? Like, is it, is it Northwest? Is it Northeast? Like where, where is the growth happening? Like when I was there, they were putting in the big circle freeway. Yep. Yep. And Which, we're still project neon is what we're calling. Uh, so they're doing a lot of, uh, construction work on the you know, on the freeway near the strip to open it up because they know the growth is happening. Um, we've got Vegas is, is in a Valley. We've got natural boundaries of mountain ranges on basically all sides. So, we're kind of growing at the seams, if you will. We're growing up to the, the Northwest is growing. The Southwest is growing. There's some brand new communities in that Southeast, uh, which is the city of Henderson. And then the city of North Las Vegas would be kind of our Northeast and things are kind of expanding that way as well. So we're seeing that, but we're also seeing some developers. Now, some of our big builders are doing communities of 20, 50, you know, 20 or 40 houses or whatever. And they're, you know, they're kind of suburban infill, if you will. There's a, you know, you'll start seeing, uh, I don't want to name any huge names, but, you know, you got Lennar, you got KBs, you got those guys that are actually doing sure. 20, 30 home projects uh, because that's all the, the land that they can they can build on right now. There's nothing. So, no so, they're, so they're keeping that Southern Nevada Water Authority super busy then, huh? Yeah, yeah. Look uh, at me. Yeah. I know some stuff about there Vegas, right? There you go. And, you a know, buddy and of mine you... that when I moved there, a buddy of mine moved with me and uh, he got a job with the Southern Nevada Water Authority and uh, he's still with them today. And so that'd be over 20 years ago, right? Yeah. Um, and so he, matter of fact, I should connect you because he, he has a, a son now. And so who knows, maybe they need a larger home and, and, and you could hook them up, right? Yeah, absolutely. Right. Love, love now, to anybody. He's, he's not one of these famous people, but, you know, part of our show is like famous people from the area and like it's Vegas. So for me, like, I feel like there's lots of famous people, but not all of them were born there. Right. So I got, I got three names. You got to be honest with me. Tell me if you knew this. Jimmy Kimmel. I think Jimmy I remember Kimmel hearing that. is I from I Nevada. That. Yeah, I think I remember hearing that. I don't. I. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have bet on it, but I think I remember hearing that somewhere at some point. Okay. How about a tennis player? Do you know a tennis player that a famous tennis player that's from Vegas? I know. I know. I know a famous tennis player who's actually married to probably a better tennis player. Uh, yeah, Miss uh, Andre Agassi and yes. Steffi Graf live here. Um, yeah, actually, I run into them at the grocery store in, in Home Depot all the time. Like you I do I, not. I, I literally uh, I think it was two or three Fourth of July's ago. I had a three minute, three minute, very in-depth conversation with Andre uh, regarding avocados to make guacamole on, on Fourth of July. <laughs> and this is the highlight of your life, right? Like, we're, we're like, it was, was it the Haas kind? You know, you're checking the firmness. Yeah. We we had the whole lemon pepper conversation whether you should put lemon pepper in it or not. It was it was uh, you know I, I felt you know I felt you know Andre could probably teach me a thing or two. I probably now, felt I could teach him something about some you know some some avocados and some. Uh, now some to be honest, did did you ask him for a selfie? No, you know I. So that's I the grew, new autograph now. Instead of yeah. ask for autograph, you know. Look, I grew up, Jason. I, I grew up in Santa Monica, you know, in, on the west side of LA. So I, I kind of grew up with with a lot of people that were way more famous than you or I. Um, so I, I kind of grew up to kind of respect them and kind of give them their privacy kind of thing. Um, trust me, there's uh, there's some times I, I I would love to, but I I, I think yeah, just, it's hard. It's hard to be with that it, guy. Yeah. yeah, it's hard to be that yeah. guy. Yeah. I get you. Hey, when, um, when you were eight, you can ask anybody for an autograph. Now it's a little weird, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then the last name I have here, and, and gosh, I'm going to be embarrassed. I don't know who this is, but uh, Kyle Busch. He's a race car driver. Oh, he's a race car driver. Look, he's a NASCAR driver in Fresno. I'm surprised you didn't know that. 
we don't have a NASCAR. We've got like <laughs> roasters and stuff, you know, you but <laughs> no, no, no. Um, so, hey, uh, Jeff, thank you for being on the show. Where can people find you? Because like, you know, it, it, you know, there's a lot of people who are real estate agents and but they're not all of them are exceptional. And, uh, you know, I know you are and, and I appreciate you. And uh, there are people right here in Fresno and other people that are watching across the country that have thought about buying like a condo or a rental property or something in Vegas. Like, well, how do they find you? Like, tell everyone right now, we'll make sure we put it on the blog, but tell everyone right now where they can find you, like on Instagram, so they can get a sort, like maybe they can get a sense of like who you are, what you're into, if they have things in common with you, Facebook, like give us the hookup. Yeah, so we're, we're you know, we've got our, our marketing directors making sure we're on, on all platforms. So on Instagram, it's uh, Zaylor Properties LLC. Um, and that's Z-A-H-L-E-R Properties. Uh, same thing on Facebook. I think it's just Zaylor Properties, no, no L LLC on there. Uh, I think we even have a Snapchat, but I don't even know what that is. I'm too old for that. But uh, we've got a Snapchat account. Um, we do have hey, I did. Too. I did two transactions where my client, their only co form of communication was on Snapchat. They were correctional officers. I don't know why they, they just made this coincidence, but like they didn't want to text, they didn't want to email, like they didn't want to phone calls, they wanted Snapchat. And so that's, I learned how to use Snapchat and we literally outside of signing final documents did everything on Snapchat. We, we do what we do for our clients and it's, all, it's always a learning experience. So yeah, we're, we're across all those platforms. Our, our website is zaylerproperties.com. That's again, Z-A-H-L-E-R properties.com. Um, we work the entire valley and uh, you know, we, uh, we take pride in what we do and we, we love helping people, you know, achieve, you know, multi-generational type uh, situations here. Awesome. Hey, Jeff, thank you again. And I hope you stick on for the rest of the call because I've got one other person I'm pulling in today uh, and she is from New Jersey. Okay. So we're going uh, West Coast, East Coast. I sh if I would have planned this better, I would have had you guys like give me like some pop culture references, like, you know, Biggie, Tupac kind of thing, like East Coast, West Coast kind of thing. We could have hey. done that. Pop, because pop because for, pop for life, baby. <laughs> because Michelle um, has been known to play that type of music uh, in her office, and that's really why I wanted her on the call. Because you know, like, who does that, right? Other than me, I didn't know anybody who did that. So, do you? Yep. Well, oh yeah, I'm I, I'm a huge like I grew up. I, I'm a, I, I think even on my profile, my my personal profile, I say I'm a lover of '90s hip hop, right? You know, Tupac and Biggie, Little Outkast. <laughs> hey, it's it's we it's what we do here. That's what we do. I love it. All right, Jeff. Hey, thank you very much. And uh, I'm going to take you off and bring Michelle on. Sounds good, Jason. Take care, buddy. Thanks, brother. Bye. All right, Michelle. I am bringing you on. There's going to be a bit. Oh, here we go. I cannot add Michelle. Uh-oh. Michelle, I need to be able to add you. If I can't add Michelle, I'm going to have to bring somebody else in. Michelle is in New Jersey. Let me tell you a little bit about my New Jersey. Text Michelle if you can and see if um, she can get on her cell phone so I can bring her in. Um, in the meantime, like, let me tell you something about New Jersey because I have looked at New Jersey, like we pulled out famous and fun facts. And so maybe some of these people, some of you listening know this, but the street names in Monopoly, the board game, are all named after actual streets in Atlantic City. Like, who knew that, right? I thought they were just, I mean, I got like, boardwalk you know but i had no idea that they were actually all um places in atlantic city actual streets in atlantic city so i thought that was a, a fun and interesting fact about new jersey and then it's also considered the diner capital of the country uh, with an estimated 525 diners like that's a that's she is watching by her phone okay so let me try to pull her in one more time. If not, and I may just pull up someone at, at, at even more random, which of course, when that happens. Huh? <laughs> uh, oh, I should, you know what? That's who I will bring in. Um, Tanya Osqueda, you bet. You know what? I could totally bring in Tanya right now. That would be great. I'm looking for someone out of the country, like, or out of the state. That would be great to pull in. Laura Corey, she's a blast. Oh, there's Michelle. Okay, I'm bringing you in, Michelle. Can't bring in Michelle. Ah, we're going to miss out on Michelle um, because uh, so you had to be uh, on your phone and have your settings. I don't know if it's an iPhone thing or what, but you have to have certain settings in order for me to bring you in. Um, so I'm not able to bring in Michelle and we did all this research, but I am going to bring in JP from Canada. Boy, this is going to be fun. 
right? So I can't bring in JP. This is what happens when you do a live show. You can't always bring people in. Um, Connie, if I thought you were still here, I would absolutely bring you in. Wave, give me a shout out or something if you want me to bring you in and I will try to bring you in immediately. Um, otherwise, we don't want the show to go too long with me just jabbering because no one likes that, right? Although we can talk about the Oakland Athletics. We can talk about how amazing they are. Um, Alex, are you still on the call? Um, because I could absolutely bring you in. Alex is in Palm Springs. Let's see if I can bring Alex in. I cannot bring Alex in. All right, so it's a one guest show today. Um, but hey, thank you for watching. I hope everyone enjoyed uh, Jeff from Las Vegas. Uh, I thought he uh, brought some value, told us a little bit of something about the market, which was fantastic, uh, and some crazy fun facts about Vegas. Who knew that they go through, what was it, 60,000? Mm -hmm. 60,000 tons? No, pounds. Pounds? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> pounds 60 that tons would be a lot yeah. 60,000 pounds of uh, a shrimp a day in Las Vegas so uh, enjoy your Friday everybody root for the Oakland Athletics we're the underdog uh, we want to take it uh, and congratulations to those Eagles fans I know a couple of you are from Philly and so congratulations on you guys winning your opening game for NFL last night